Welcome to a reflection. Today, the Feast of Pentecost. <laughs> on behalf of Father Mike, myself, Father Alec, and the team working on the resources, we wish you well and pray our greeting finds you all in good spirits. Each year on the Feast of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit comes with great gifts for us. The feast comes and goes, but if we're really honest, does a lot really change? It's not that the Holy Spirit passes us by, it's perhaps that we're looking for the wrong kind of gifts, and so we don't recognise the gifts that the Spirit brings us. The Holy Spirit doesn't bring us ready-made gifts, he brings us the makings of great gifts, but he needs our cooperation and bringing the gifts to fruition. The gifts of the Spirit come like IKEA flatbacks that need to be worked on and assembled. The Spirit brings us wisdom, understanding, right judgment and courage, knowledge, piety and reverence for God. But these gifts are only seeds. They need to be cultivated in order to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Holy Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience and kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness, self-control. So this year I'm suggesting that we don't just sit with open hands and open hearts, praying and waiting for the gifts of the Spirit. If the plan of Jesus is to work, we need to be committed to work as hard as we can to transform the seeds the Spirit gives us into the fruits that will give witness to others. That we're indeed establishing God's kingdom of peace, love and joy in our time. Our credibility as missionary disciples is determined and evaluated by how effective we are in bringing the seed gifts to bear such fruit. The Father sent his Son to teach us how to transform the gifts of the Spirit so that they bear much fruit. It's not a complicated agricultural formula. It's very simple, really. All it takes is loving one another. And one last thing. Pentecost is not a one-off annual event. Once the Spirit starts to give us the seed gifts, the flow doesn't stop. It's ongoing and endless. So let's not stop praying our Pentecost prayer. Let's continue with it every single day of the year. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Help us to renew the face of the earth by loving unconditionally as Jesus taught us. Come, Holy Spirit.